Then he like, run that, run that. So I just fell all, I fell, fell back. Like if he would have like tried to hold back, his arm was going to break. So I just jumped back and fall all the way back. And then when we fall down to the ground, his, his hand slammed under me. So he let the gun go. And then he tried to pull out. I don't know if he, what he was pulling out, but I took his arm in again while he was on top of me on the floor. So his arms under me, both his arms under me, and I could feel the guns on my back. So I pushed my back all the way down and like bring him closer to me. I'm like, I'm like, damn, come shoot him, bitch, come shoot him. I'm yelling at him, I'm like, come shoot him, come shoot him. I don't know where she at. So I just keep tugging with him like that until I get rest of them shits out of her hand, out his hand. So then she run over there. She got damn shaking and shit. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, shoot him, shoot him. So like, well, I, I edge, I swing my hip under him like that to put him on top of me, all the way on top of me. And then she's popping him in the back twice. Like she's like, boom, boom. In the back, he's like, ah, oh, fuck. And this nigga turned into the motherfucking hawk right there. You would think he would be the hawk before he got shot. But right there, that's when I guess he got a full adrenaline rush. He started going crazy. Like, he saw, I ain't gonna lie, he got the edge over me, basically to where I was on his, like, on his back. He pulled the guns out and I got nervous or whatever. So I just swing off from under him and I get on his back and I start wrestling with him. And then I see he got two guns in his hand. So I'm like, where the fuck did this nigga get two guns from? Like, what the fuck? So I'm holding him down like that. And I grab control of the gun because he got his hand on the ground trying to get up. So I'm all on his back. I put my left hand on the gun and the right gun, he aim at the uh, bitch or whatever. He like aiming at her head, trying to put the beam. So I'm grabbing his arm. Like he really trying to aim and shoot at her face type shit. So like he put the beam on her head. And I'm like, run, bitch, run. Like move out the way. And then she take off running. He fired three times. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, no. Nah. So I, I, when I grab him, I make him put the gun down. So he got both of his hands on the ground, but his, his hands still on the guns. Yo, this is a ritual right here, man. This was a ritual right here. Now, this is what I be talking about. When people say, yo, what's, a, what's this, this? They don't be knowing, man. They don't be knowing what they talking about. This is a ritual right here. All right. Now, this dude by the name of BTB Savage, right? He's a rapper, young dude. I don't know nothing about him. But I saw he um he did a he did an interview and he spoke on how him and his girlfriend right was in the crib and somebody came in the crib to break in the crib and and tried to rob him right and he shot the dude and killed him right in self defense so he got off the case and all of that John right but he went and took it upon himself to stand and take a picture in the blood. That he killed the dude in. The dude that he killed, he stood in, in his blood. Now, I'ma just talk about this. This is what I be saying. That was satanic. You can't tell me that wasn't satanic. Why would you, why would you, that's, that's a blood, that's a blood ritual. How do we even know, how do we, this is what I'm saying. People gotta be careful when they mess with, how do we even know that that's a real story? The dude tried to rob him. It could have been some, it could have been his friend. They tried to sacrifice him and then he going to stand in the, in the blood and then take a picture. You know what I'm saying? And like, come on, man. That was a ritual. That was a rich, that was a ritual right there. If you, if, if, if I tell y'all anything about rituals and stuff like that, that was a ritual, man. And I'm going to just say this, man. Rest in peace to the brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, too young. Now, now I got a message for the youngins, though, man. Listen, man. If y'all... Listen, I'm not here to preach to nobody. You feel me? But y'all got to stop doing stupid stuff, man. Pissing on people's graves and standing in blood and, 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 and disrespecting dead homies and all of this stuff. Smoking on people. What are y'all doing, man? Like, what? when, when did this even come, become cool? Like... You know what I'm saying? If, if if it's fuck that other side, then fuck the other side. But you, you, you're taking it to the extreme with this, you know what I'm saying, disrespect of the spiritual world. Because now, let me tell y'all this. If you don't believe in the spiritual world, then that's that, that's on you. <laughs> All right? That's on you. I ain't here to convince you. But I'm going to just tell you, man. A lot of times, these people that be doing that shit, they don't really, they don't have common sense, man. They don't have common knowledge of of shit that goes on in the afterlife they don't even know about the afterlife ask a lot of these kids about god they don't even know you know what i'm saying they don't even care to know they don't ask no questions they never even seen the inside of a church 
You know what I'm saying? The only time they went up in the church was to rob the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So I seen this man and it was crazy because in less than 24 hours of him posting that picture, he died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like in less than 24 hours, nigga was dead. Nigga was cooked food. Whoever killed him, I don't know. He got slumped. All right. So it that that's what I'm saying. And this shit. This shit is a revolving door. It's, pe it's more people that's going to do stupid stuff, even worse. It's more people out there that's going to do stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and yo, this kid, this kid, I, I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all got to stop with this, man. Y'all got to stop with this, man. I, I ain't, I'm not preaching, but y'all got to stop with this. All right. <laughs> Like this shit, all right, you, you, uh, yeah, 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 these people sell their soul and do stupid shit, man. They come, they, 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 their common knowledge and sense just goes out the window. Their moral compass just disappears. They don't even know what the, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with people, man? Young dude, man, you know what I'm saying? This is what I be talking about with this, this type of nonsense. But yeah, man. Y'all be safe out there, y'all. And, and and don't mess with them. them. This week on Impractical Jokers, we have the one and only Anthony Davis. All right, for the next Sally's Choice, you could either sell the soul of the sneakers to me or sell your immortal soul to me. This is where we're going, selling my soul to this son of a bitch? Yeah. You don't have to. You could give him the souls of the sneakers. I, what is the process of selling a soul? Just, what do I owe it's, you? It's, your, your soul. soul. <laughs> What does that mean going forward? It just means when you die, your soul will belong to James Murray. I'm going home with these. I'll sell my soul. You'll sell your soul to me? I guess. I, I don't know. So, but well, listen, like, even the devil wouldn't sell his soul to Murray. <laughs> like, think about this. No, seriously. Think about this. You don't this. know what You don't know what he's going to do with your soul. I, 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 nothing's going to happen. Like. Bring in the notary. <laughs> what? So you know my cousin Helen, she's a notary. She brought the contract for you, bud. You're just gonna wanna read this over real quick. Oh, wow. Uh, I, Salvatore Volcano Jr. of Staten Island, do immediately give my eternal soul to James S. Murray of Princeton, New Jersey. Eternal? <laughs> yeah, sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> In return, I will receive a gift of rubber foam. <laughs> Cotton and polyester blend. <laughs> Man, if you put it that way. Yeah, keep going. Use of mine own human blood to certify the deal. Or I rip those take souls the out. Souls out of the shoes. Alright. Take my soul. Take my soul. <laughs> oh, no. You fool! You fool! We're gonna need you to prick your finger, get a little blood going, and then after that, Helen will notarize it for you. Blood, there that's blood. Go. There you go. There we go. Where do I put my blood? right next to the lines. Is this what you feel like at a contract signing? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> All right. We just need that notarized. You don't just so. Congrats, Mark. <laughs>